TA Sports presents Hall of Famer Steve Young. Playing for BYU, 1983, his senior year. A season at the Cougars went 13-1, and um, won the bowl game. Unfortunately for them, lost the first game against Baylor, uh, but a fantastic season for the Cougars this year uh, in 83. Um, you can see some examples of his arm strength, like right there. Of course, the, the, the thing that made Steve Young great, uh, and even though that's incomplete, going to roll into his left, was his mobility. Uh, and here's an example of his speed. Actually, a really fast guy, and that reckless kind of running style. Also, you'll see that later in the game. Uh, like it did in the NFL, it did cost him uh, in terms of taking some big hits. Uh, that uh, classic run he had against the Vikings, if I recall, in the NFL, uh, kind of put him on the, the map, right, as a um, – I had to throw that pit in there. I just it has nothing to do with Steve Young, but that was just a fantastic hit that had to be in this highlight reel. But um, obviously Young's mobility and his reckless running style kind of put him on the map. Uh, an NFL career that was uh, interesting to say, nonetheless, look at this throw across his body. Incomplete, certainly missed the throw, but that's some fantastic arm strength uh, to be rolling to your left and make that throw and have to release the ball across the body. Um, again, ex a good examples throughout this video of his, his arm strength. You see one down in the end zone later on. Uh, really has to uh, you know, put a lot of velocity on the ball, and he does a great job doing it. Uh, this is a game that BYU won handily. You can see he had 356 yards and two touchdowns. He did have an interception this game, which I won't put in the highlight, but um, yeah, another great game in this this great season that the Cougars had. But Young went on to uh, play in the USFL. He had the unique contract of $40 million over 43 years. <laughs> so obviously that was an honor. The USFL only lasted a couple of years. Then was in the supplemental draft, great catch and run here, uh, put the ball in time, but uh, obviously the receiver did the work after. But after that, uh, Young got out of the USFL and played with the Buccaneers for two seasons, very unsuccessful seasons before being traded. Um, supposedly he was traded to, according to Young himself, he was traded to the Cardinals. That is a great pass right there. You want to watch a great pass, a uh, long ball, or a deep pass, excuse me, that was a great pass. Uh, here he's rolling out, um, again, throwing across his body. Again, the arm strength is fantastic. But uh, two seasons with the Bucks, got traded to the Cardinals, got his way out of that, and then was um, traded to um, – was able to form his own trade uh, to go to the 49ers and, of course, sat four years behind Steve, or behind uh, Joe Montana. Took a big hit there. Tough guy, for sure. He had some head, had concussions problems because of his reckless running style more than anything. Sat behind Montana for four years to finally get in his own chance. Three-time Super Bowl champion, uh, of course, Hall, uh, Hall of Famer, MVP. I mean, just um, well-accomplished 92 through – 98 really dominated the league uh, as the 49ers did with him at the helm. His career is actually quite long from 85 to 99 when you had those two years in uh, that he had a USFL. I mean, you're looking at a 16 year career as a professional quarterback. Now, keep in mind, he sat on the bench before. Here's, here's the big hit. This is his classic reckless running style. Fumbled the ball too, but um, that would have been a personal foul in today's football and that guy would have been ejected. But in 1983, that was just a really good hit on a quarterback. And there's an example of his arm strength, really having to thread the needle and put it in on time. I left that highlight in there. Obviously, Young didn't score that touchdown, but just, uh, you know, he was a great leader. He was passionate about the game. You know, we read his accounts of him in Montana. Um, he was a guy that wanted to play. Yeah, you can see his mobility here, eluding uh, oncoming rushers. He didn't complete this pass, but just a great example of his ability to roll around in the pocket, if not run, but uh, elude defenders in, in order to get the ball out and then make um, some really strong throws. Another example of his running that didn't go so well, but I <laughs> still – uh, again, his ability to get out of the pocket and move uh, certainly kept defenders on their toes. And along with Randall Cunningham was really one of the first, I know there were some others, but one of the first uh, real mobile quarterbacks uh, that their feet could hurt you as bad as, um, as their arm. I know there were some, you know, Fran Tarkington and, the, and, you know, players, there's other players that, but in terms of like able to hurt you with the run game itself, not just eluding defenders, John Elway was great in the pocket and all those things. Here's a great pass. Um, but he could actually hurt you with the, with the run game as well. Here's a good example of his arm strength. He doesn't complete this pass, but roll into his right, throwing across his body. His feet were not set, and you know, really um, a well-thrown ball, just a little bit outside, but a well-thrown ball. Another great um, pass here across the middle. Obviously, BYU shredded uh, Wyoming in this game. But be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, and as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. We'll continue to bring you great highlights, great players, and football history. Check out our Patreon page as well if you want to support work, work we're doing here. The more help we get from viewers like you, the more videos we can continue to bring you of other great players. This is uh, the video, the highlights we're uh, bringing you um, do have an expense associated with them. So um, if you want to help us out and continue to grow this library for your benefit, 
benefit of other football fans, we certainly appreciate it. So check that out. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. TA Sports.